We're going to continue to explore haunted Tennessee right now, everyone, on this Halloween. And we want to take you to the third oldest building in Knoxville and what some say may possibly be the most haunted here in our city. Sit down, relax if you can, as we take you inside the Bijou Theater. Thousands of people have walked these floors for more than 200 years. With history, I guess, comes uh, hauntings and residual spirits and energies. If walls could talk, you would hear stories of people who lived and died here when it was a hotel, a brothel, even a civil war hospital. It did treat both sides of the war. So sadly, a lot of people took their last breaths in these, in this building, in these floors, and in these walls. Courtney Bergmeier with Abijou says one of the most famous people to die here was General William Sanders. His story is commemorated on this plaque, but some might say his story is far from over. People say that they catch glimpses of a, of a, of a soldier and the gleam of his buttons and th around the corner of his eyes. So we have to assume that that's General Sanders. Keeping an eye on things. And it seems like General Sanders may not be alone. A paranormal investigative team deemed the women's restroom right off the gallery on the second floor is the most haunted place in the building. And some workers, well, they tend to agree. I was wearing a sweater, a cardigan, and as I was walking in, I felt two distinct tugs on the hem of my sweater. So I was here myself, and I was new, and just kind of convinced myself that it was nothing and it was all in my head. We have this theory that maybe it's a child, maybe it's a little kid or someone trying to get your attention. And apparently the stage area at the Bijou is not off limits. An overnight security guard told workers here the spirits are a little overactive at night. He heard footsteps all night long kind of walking along the rafters and the catwalk up above on stage. And even performers have left the Bijou with some questions about movement in a closed off balcony that hasn't been used in decades. He came out to me and he said, is someone else in there? And I was like, nope, you're, I just got here. I literally just opened the door and let you in. And he was just like, well, I heard someone coughing. I was like, really? He's like, yeah, I heard someone coughing and I, I heard someone talking and it was coming from the back of the theater up high. And I was like, well, it sounds like you just encountered the Bijou ghost. And while we know not everyone is a believer in spirits, it is pretty clear that some eerie things happen here at the Bijou. And maybe, just maybe, if you spend enough time here, you might experience something as well. I think it's only natural that their energy exists here somewhere or people are drawn back to this space. All right, and speaking of that energy, we tried to get a read on it by using a few different ghost detecting apps, and there are a lot of them out there. Most of them say that you can read the energy or the electromagnetic field in a room just by using your phone. Now, I do want to point out in the short time we tried this, we didn't see any peaks in energy. But if you want to try it for yourself, we have a link to some of the top rated ghost detecting apps that can help you out on our website at WATE.com.